Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode of The Design Factory. In the previous videos, we defined the first stages of our design structure with wireframes and we analyzed the user flow by wireframing how our website, in this particular case the homepage, changes based on the type of user and interaction. Be aware that this process of building a wireframe and analyzing the user flow should be always executed for every page of our website, or at least analyzing all the different components and blocks that we're gonna use during the design process. Most designers like to jump directly into the design stage right after a super quick and not detailed wireframe session. Others, on the contrary, prefer to increase the fidelity of the wireframe to avoid future issues and better define the sections and components. I'm with the second group. The high fidelity wireframe is the step in between wireframing and designing. During this stage you should try as much as possible to insert real content, buttons, copy and placeholders to see how your structure works in real life. This is the stage where you can focus on font size, buttons and links interactivity and a better and more consistent spacing. By defining or knowing exactly what kind of content has to be implemented, you will have a way better understanding on how your structure and components may or may not work in a real-life situation. Always remember that the web is fluid, no content is fixed, no container will always and only have the same amount of text, everything is dynamic and so your design should accept these changes and work in every scenario. Always ask yourself, what if this box has those 20 extra characters I didn't consider? What if the user inputs a really long word that cannot be trimmed? What if this or that happens? What if? In this stage, you can also try to get an extra step and see if the interactions, call to actions or previously defined user flow stages can work with different amount of content. Maybe having all those sharing buttons doesn't really look good when the title is too long, or maybe if a section is almost empty, the link at the bottom looks really out of place. With real content, everything can change.
Adding content and increasing the details of your wireframe will also give you an immediate visualization of cluttered areas. Too much content, too tight and squished to make it fit in a section with too many containers will confuse your user and will drive his attention away. You don't want your user to be lost in a cluttered oceans of words. Rethink about the amount of elements you want to use, remove interactions and information, increase the breathing room and always maintain a good amount of white, empty space. A rhythmical pause between sections will improve the readability of your page. At the end of this process, take a look at the two versions, the low fidelity wireframes and the high fidelity wireframes, and see how everything changes with content, the elements, the rhythm, the balance and the heaviness of the page. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.